Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this quick tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how I created this uh, simple closet for my architectural designs. It is good to have these elements for indoor designs of your architecture so you don't have to make them over and over again uh, and, and they are easy to manipulate with so you can reshape them as you like. So let's get started. I'm going to hide this and going to the front view pressing F I'm going to use a box and this is going to be it converting to editable poly selecting pressing 2 on the keyboard or pressing here on the edge selecting uh, up and down and connect twice make it a little bit wider so we have the center a little bit larger then we're going to select these two and connect them again this time three times and we're going to push them up a little bit and push them a little bit together pressing apply and continue and we're going to select uh, oops looks like it did it one more time and we're going to just put a minus here because it's on the other side and now we are going to press OK we're going to select this uh, two edges and connect them again this time with one just right clicking on the arrows will set this to default values and selecting this and connect them two times now we're going to select these two and connect them again right clicking on it just selecting once and pushing it down a little bit now we're going to go to polygon and pressing Q on the keyboard to select only the select object uh, tool we're going to select uh, click and drag and click and drag pressing uh, control on the keyboard so we select the both sides why is that uh, uh, necessary or may I say uh, use uh, usable I'm going to explain afterwards so we select both sides and we are going to inset it where are you inset inset pressing shift on the keyboard to get this um, values and we're going to right click uh, uh, just ordinary click and make it by polygon and press uh, let's say 3 pressing OK now we are going to go to the front view and we are going to select all this and pressing control and all this so let's just check if we selected both sides yes and now again inset but this time only one OK now we are going to extrude them but first of all we're going to deselect pressing alt on the keyboard to press uh, deselecting the back side and extrude this in the negative value if you don't see how how far you could go you just press alt x on the keyboard to make it transparent and then just push the value until you think it's uh, appropriate pressing alt x on the keyboard again make it opaque again so this is pretty much it uh, for creating creating this simple uh, design now uh, as you may uh, recall I had this uh, drawers created and I'm going to show this I created 
uh, because it's the drawers should be uh, exactly the same size as the hole that they fit into it's it's wise to use uh, the polygon of the hole that we are going to create it from so just holding shift and click and drag it outwards and make sure you clone it to the object then select it and select these edges and connect them two times and selecting these two and delete deleting them then I'm going to add a shell modifier I have it already here and right click and collapse to and right click editable poly and select the front uh, and bevel it a little bit 1 and minus 1 now go to the back side uh, insert it. it the value doesn't matter but uh, well it's ma it matters so just put one into it and pressing ok then holding control and clicking on the vertex will select the vertices of this polygon and pressing R on the keyboard uh, will select the select and uniform scale and we are going to push these two together and pressing W on the keyboard and pushing them down pressing 4 on the keyboard to select the polygon and extrude it again then we're going to select this polygon and insert it again value 1 and we're going to select these polygons and extrude them this way we quickly uh, created this drawer now we're going to create a handle we, c we could uh, create a handle uh, in a s from a separate uh, object but I just want to show that this can be done uh, just from this holding control vertex from this uh, one box that we started with and extruding it let's say one bevel it I'm holding shift after when cl clicking on extrude or bevel so I get these values to uh, change and again and again but this time in minus value so I get this kind of look so now we are going to go here to hierarchy and effect pivot only center to object and we are going to click on snap tool or pressing S on the keyboard and pressing W so we, we are uh, moving only the pivot and after we cl cl right click on this uh, grid and snap settings we just have to have selected vertex and now we move it to the front and we go to the left view we can see it's it's aligned with this uh, this what is this this edge so uh, when we shut off this one and we push it uh, in we can see it snaps right where it belongs now we uh, just push this downwards and select mirror on the z-axis copy and again just you could do this uh, in another way but this is how I created it so we have our drawers now we should only just create this what is this, this element in between these two polygons so nothing hard just pressing 4 on the keyboard to make the polygon selection inset them quite a lot control click on vertex 
R on the keyboard, push them together, pressing 4 again on the keyboard, W, push them a little bit backwards or not, oops, undo that, make sure you uh, snap tool is off, so it doesn't snap like crazy, and then go just to bridge, and here you have your element that you want to create for the again so this is uh, pretty much it, the technique that I wanted to sh quickly show how uh, easy and effectively you can create some uh, elements from from one box we started with a box and in, th and in 10 minutes we have this closet uh, created now as I mentioned before uh, in the beginning we did make sure we inset both sides why is that because now if we hold shift and drag this out and duplicate it we can now select going to the front view we can now select uh, I don't know click and drag, holding control and click and drag Oops. and we can uh, create a whole holes in this um, in this selected uh, edge, uh, polygons just by going to bridge this way made a holes and created these additional uh, polygons so we don't have uh, completely uh, uh, missing polygons here so you have a different kind of base closet created in seconds so this is pretty much it from me for this tutorial I hope you learned something new do subscribe to my channel, uh, share the video, and till next time, bye.